first. And joining me now with more on what you need to know before cashing out your 401k, CPA, and business analyst, Daniel Geltru. Good morning to you, sir. Good to see you. Good morning. All right. So let's let's start off. There are some people out there who are desperate. So this news comes as good news that you can have access to this money. Let's just start with the basics. Is this a good idea or does it depend on just how financially desperate you are? It really depends on the circumstances. My general outlook here is is if you could avoid touching your retirement funds, try to do that. The only reason to go into uh, those funds is really when you have an emergency situation. So if you're going to use those funds, it better be related to paying off, let's say, very high interest. Or if you have a housing crisis, like you can't pay your rent or you mm -hmm. can't pay your mortgage, or if you need it for your basic needs. Other than that, try to stay away from it. Right. Now, how much can you just go and get, uh, can you go get all of it? Can you go get some of it? Or does that just depend as well? Well, the maximum amount that you can take right now, either as a withdrawal or as a loan, is $100,000. But really, when you're making a decision, hey, do I take this money as a withdrawal or do I take it as a loan? It kind of depends on your circumstances, and you have to look at what the tax impact will be in each of those situations. You talked about the impact in, in taxes, uh, the penalty. If you took out, if you had, you know, a hundred grand, because that's the maximum, let's just stick with the maximum here. If you had a hundred grand, you took that out. Um, how do they assess the penalty? Because there will be a penalty, right? How would they assess that penalty? Would it be the same rules as it would under normal circumstances? You just now have access to the money? Well, before the CARES Act, if you had taken that money out for, for a withdrawal, you would be subject to a 10% penalty. And it would also be subject to, at a minimum, a 20% tax withholding. Now, in 2020, post-CARE Act, you can take up to $100,000 out and not be subject to any penalty and also not have to have that tax withholding either on those funds. Right. Okay. And the uh, other question here is, all right, so once you get it, say in six months, COVID-19 hopefully disappears and things get back to normal, you go back to work and start building your account up. Can you put it back? Or can you, or is it just you got it and now you just leave it alone? If you took it out as a withdrawal, you can pay it back within a three-year period and then you would also be able to get a refund on the taxes that were due. If you took it out as a loan, you generally have a five-year period to pay those funds back. But keep one thing in mind, mm -hmm. if you have a 401k and you change jobs within that five-year payback period, it actually is subject to the same rules as a withdrawal under the old rules. So if you're going to take it out as a loan in a 401k, make sure you're going to stay at your current employment for at least five more years. Okay, that's that's kind of a, a big note there, uh, right there to keep, keep in mind. Is the same same way with IRA, same, same uh, circumstances? Well, with the IRA, it's a little different because in the 401k, obviously, you are subject to the employer. So that's what you need to keep in mind. Remember that the, the money that you take out related to a loan must be vested funds. And that's why I bring that up related to 401k, where you have a situation where the funds will vest over time. Daniel, we appreciate the information. Some very uh, good insight right there as to uh, how you can have access to the money and just exactly what you're looking at financially. So appreciate your time today and uh, happy holidays to you. Take care. Thank you. Same to you. All right. Time now to talk weather.